This is the apparatus I used for the lindane synthesis. I would have better connected the first gas wash bottle from the left the other way around to prevent the sodium thiosulfate solution in the second gas wash bottle from being sucked back in the event of negative pressure. Fortunately, this did not happen. I have conducted the experiment outside since chlorine is really a nasty and very toxic gas. It creeps everywhere and penetrates everything that has not been specially sealed. The German chemist and Nobel Prize winner Fritz Haber wisely chose chlorine as a chemical weapon in the First World War. The round bottom flask was charged with 20 grams of potassium permanganate. UV light is used instead of a catalyst. The flickering of the LEDs comes from the 50 Hz mains frequency. This means that the LEDs are operated directly on 230 volts mains. A capacitor is used to limit the current of the LEDs. Capacitors work under AC voltage as a frequency-dependent resistor. As you can already see some aluminum foil was wrapped around the test tube and the LED lamp is a reflector. 60 milliliters of 37% hydrochloric acid was then added to the addition funnel. The 28 milliliters of benzene I synthesized in the first part was subsequently added to the test tube. The stopcock of the addition funnel was opened enough to add the hydrochloric acid dropwise to the potassium permanganate. Sodium thiosulfate serves to bind the unused chlorine. Chlorine oxidizes sodium thiosulfate to sulfate. This acidifies the thiosulfate solution and disproportionates it to sulfur and sulfur dioxide. I use 20 grams sodium thiosulfate dissolved in 200 milliliters distilled water for this. After the chlorine gas generation was complete, the chlorinated benzene was placed in a petri dish for evaporation. To avoid producing more very polluting waste, I decided not to purify the lindane any further. The yield was just 3.6% compared to the theoretical one. To test the toxicity to insects, a few milligrams of the lindane were dissolved in some acetone. Then a filter paper was sprinkled with the solution and the acetone was allowed to evaporate. An apilione was placed in the petri dish and sealed with the lid. Apiliones are actually not insects, but they are not spiders either. They just belong to the arachnids. The following footage of the Apilione was taken with my homemade microscope. Link is in the description.
After 10 minutes the Apillione was dead. The Lindane had done its job.